While Bill was walking in the woods with his grandson, a wild eagle swooped in all of a sudden and snatched the child from the ground. Bill and his friends were ready to get revenge, but when they discovered the reason for the eagle's unexpected attack, they were left in shock. As little Tim started to fuss in his arms, Bill Campbell decided to put him on the ground for a little walk. His grandson was moving his first steps, and despite being still wobbly on his feet, he seemed to love the feeling of leaves and branches crackling under his tiny shoes. Bill looked away for a single second to grab his phone and take a picture to send his daughter, when all of a sudden something completely unpredictable happened. A gigantic eagle swooped in from nowhere and snatched Tim. Bill's heart raced and a knot formed in his stomach as he witnessed the eagle grab his precious grandson with its talons and fly up into the sky again, fast as a lightning bolt. Shocked and panicked, he couldn't believe what had just happened. An eagle had stolen his grandson. He lunged forward, but the massive bird was already out of reach and quickly disappeared among the tall trees. Bill started shouting, but to no avail. He was in the middle of the woods, far from anyone who could help him save his poor grandson. Little Timmy started to cry in the distance, and his grandpa felt his heart break into a million pieces. He must be so scared. He needed to do something, and quickly. Without a moment's hesitation, he turned and sprinted back to the town, his mind racing with fear and worry. Arriving in the village, Bill's voice trembled as he called out for help. He kept yelling that an eagle had grabbed Tim and he needed help to find the boy. There were people in the streets and others looked out of their windows to find out what all that commotion was about. They could immediately tell that the old man was in distress. However, some villagers found his story unbelievable, dismissing it as an impossible tale. They couldn't fathom that an eagle would snatch a child. It was a young boy and not a chicken after all. Maybe the man was just losing his marbles due to old age, some people assumed. But Bill was desperate and he wouldn't give up on his grandson. He continued to implore them, his voice becoming more determined and resolute. He repeated that he had witnessed the scene with his own eyes and asked them why he would make up such a fantastical tale for no reason. Gradually, the villagers realized the seriousness in Bill's eyes and the fear that gripped his heart. They could see the pain and desperation etched on his face. Slowly, one by one, they came forward to offer their assistance in the search. Old Bill had always been a man of nature, and retirement had done nothing to change that. Even as his children and grandchildren settled in the city, he had yearned for the wilds of Alaska where he grew up as a young man. So when the time had come, he had packed up his things and made the move, trading the hustle and bustle of city life for the solitude of the wilderness. Here, Bill had soon become a beloved member of the community, and when one of them needed help, the others were always ready to offer a hand. So the villagers grabbed some weapons and followed him into the woods. He hoped that Tim's crying would resound among the trees and guide them towards the eagle, but the woods were completely silent, and the child was not answering to the men's calls. Bill didn't want to think about what that meant. He was desperately hoping that his grandson was simply too astounded to cry, or that he'd fallen asleep. He was only 11 months old after all, too young to understand the danger he had stumbled into. Perhaps he thought that this was just a thrilling adventure, but after 10 minutes of yelling his name with no reply, Bill started to fear for the worst. Somewhere amidst the search, this story of how Tim had come to be in his grandfather's care emerged. However peaceful his life was in the small town, Bill still missed his family. It was summer break, and his daughter Tiffany, along with her husband Mark, had decided to come and spend some time with him in the wilderness. They were city people, and sometimes worried that their child would end up growing disconnected from nature. The young couple had therefore planned a short vacation to recharge their batteries and allow little Timmy to explore the woods around his grandfather's cabin. The day before, though, they had announced that they were going to explore the neighboring town for the weekend, and had entrusted their beloved son's care to Grandpa Bill. As Bill shared the backstory, he couldn't help but feel a wave of guilt washing over him. He considered himself responsible for Tim's well-being during their visit, and the thought that something terrible had happened under his watch weighed heavily on his conscience. How was he ever going to explain to his daughter that her son had been snatched by an eagle? He needed to get the child back and quickly. The search for Tim continued with a renewed sense of purpose. Everyone was so touched by the story that they knew they had to do everything to find the old man's grandson. 
Each step they took was fueled by determination and hope. They scoured the forest, calling out Tim's name, and their voices echoed through the trees. After some time, the search party decided to retrace their steps back to Bill's house where the boy was snatched, hoping to gather more clues. The urgency of finding Tim grew with each passing minute, and their hearts were heavy with worry. The search party marched back through the dense forest, their determination unwavering. As they reached the clearing near Bill's cabin, they spotted the majestic eagle perched on a tree branch, still holding Tim in its powerful talons. The sight took their breath away. The old man was telling the truth. They couldn't believe their eyes. There it was, a magnificent bald eagle, America's national symbol, with its distinctive white head and tail feathers gleaming in the fading light. This regal bird, with its wingspan of over seven feet, was an awe-inspiring sight to behold. Its sharp beak and talons were designed for hunting and grasping prey with incredible precision and strength. At one point or another, they had all seen an eagle swoop in and catch a mouse or kitten with the accuracy of a sniper, but they would have never guessed that a bird, however big it was, could actually carry a child of almost one year of age. Little Timmy weighed around 22 pounds after all, but bald eagles can lift up to 40 pounds and that one was a big, strong specimen. The men were in awe of the eagle's sheer power and beauty. Its golden eyes seemed to pierce through their souls, exuding both grace and authority. To witness such a magnificent creature up close was a rare privilege, even in the wilds of Alaska. They had their doubts about what the old man said before, but nothing could have prepared them for this sight. An eagle carrying a child. That certainly wasn't on anyone's bingo card for the year. Thankfully, Tim seemed perfectly fine and even smiled when he heard them calling his name. But how long was he going to resist this torture? Filled with a sense of dread, some of the villagers readied their hunting rifles, intending to shoot down the eagle and save the child. But none of them was keen on taking the shot. What if they missed their shot and hit little Tim? What if the eagle got spooked by the noise and fled with the child? And what if the shot hit the mark and the bird let the kid drop from such a tall tree? There were simply too many variables. They needed to come up with a plan. The men stood in a circle and brainstormed ideas. One of them suggested shooting in the air to scare the eagle and setting up a safety net for the child should the bird let him fall. Another wanted to lure the bird on the ground with live prey or pieces of raw meat. Bill was torn and was thinking about calling animal rescue. None of them could come up with an easier immediate solution, and all the while, his poor grandson was stuck on a tree branch with a huge predator. Its pointy beak and talons were scary enough from the ground, and Bill definitely didn't want to see them in action. They needed a better idea. But before they could act, something else caught their attention a sudden rustling in the bushes nearby. As the men turned their heads, their eyes widened with shock. Slithering towards them was a huge, dangerous snake, its venomous fangs glinting in the fading light. Its light brown scales were almost invisible among the foliage, allowing it to blend in with the surroundings. But there was no doubt now, it was coming towards them. The situation had taken an unexpected and perilous turn and they now faced a new threat. That was when they all put two and two together, realization striking them like lightning. The eagle had not intended to harm Tim. It had actually saved him from the lurking danger of the venomous snake. That's why it had swooped in as soon as Bill had put the child down and why it was refusing to let him go. They now understood the noble act of the eagle, how it had risked its own life to protect the young boy. In an instant, their perspective shifted. The men lowered their weapons, recognizing the incredible bravery and intelligence of the eagle. It was a moment of awe and wonder as they witnessed nature's intricate balance. While the eagle and its good intentions greatly shocked him, Bill and his companions still had a very big problem. The dangerous looking snake that would have attacked his grandson if the eagle hadn't grabbed him. The men knew they couldn't let their guard down for a moment, as the snake's venomous bite could be deadly. Fear and adrenaline surged through their veins as they pondered their next move. Bill, feeling the weight of responsibility for his grandson's safety, tried to think of a way to handle the situation. He remembered stories he had heard from his elders as a boy about how some snakes could be deterred by creating vibrations on the ground. 
Desperation and determination took over him as he scanned the area for something to create the necessary vibrations. Spotting a large log nearby, he gestured to the others to help him. Together, they rolled the log into position, intending to use it as a tool to mimic the vibrations of a larger predator. With the log in place, the men began to push and shake it, creating tremors on the forest floor. The snake, sensing the vibrations and perceiving a potential threat, hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to respond. This brief moment of confusion gave the men some respite, but they knew they had to maintain the ruse. Working in unison, they continued to shake the log, making the ground beneath them seem like it was pulsating with danger. The snake, feeling increasingly uneasy, started to slither away from the group. That was when one of the villagers raised his hunting rifle and prepared to kill it. But just as he put his finger on the trigger, the other men quickly stopped him. The shot would scare the eagle. The bird was already looking down with a suspicious glare, trying to understand whether the humans only meant harm to the snake. Another risky move and it could fly away with poor little Timmy as its prisoner. The snake kept slithering towards the woods, but one of the men managed to strike it just in time. He hit it with a big stick, trying not to make too much noise. One threat was gone, and they all cheered together in a loud voice. As they regrouped, their focus returned to the majestic eagle perched on the tree branch, still holding Tim securely by his diaper. The men marveled at the extraordinary scene before them, filled with awe and reverence for the incredible acts of nature they had witnessed. Even though the threat had been eliminated, there was still a problem. The eagle refused to come down and let Tim go. What angle was the large bird playing at? Why hadn't it released the boy yet? As Bill watched, he realized something even more shocking. This eagle was no stranger at all. They had a very unexpected history together, and remembering it brought tears to the old man's eyes. Years ago, while Bill was wandering through the woods alone, he had stumbled upon a trapped and injured eagle. Its wing had been caught in a poacher's snare, and the magnificent bird was suffering greatly. Filled with empathy and compassion, Bill had approached the distressed bird with caution. He knew that if he didn't act swiftly, the majestic creature might not survive. With steady hands and a calm demeanor, he had carefully freed the eagle from the painful trap. Determined to see that it survived, Bill had taken it back to his home, where he had tended to its injured wing and fed it. For three days, the eagle had continued to heal and rest until it had finally been able to move properly. The wound had left a scar, but the wing had recovered completely, and on the fourth day, Bill had released it back into the wilderness. As the bird regained its freedom, it had looked at him with those vibrant, piercing eyes, as if expressing its gratitude for the act of kindness. Little had Bill known that this chance encounter would forge a bond between them, one that would be tested and strengthened in this most extraordinary way. Back in the present moment, as the eagle held Tim securely in its powerful talons, Bill felt a surge of emotion. He would recognize that scar anywhere. This was the same eagle he had helped all those years before. It was as if destiny had brought them together once more, with the eagle returning to repay the kindness that had been shown to it all those years ago. With the snake threat averted, the men stood in awe of the incredible bond between the old man and the eagle. They now understood that this was no ordinary encounter. It was a testament to the power of compassion and the profound connections that could form between humans and the creatures of the wild. With tears of gratitude in his eyes, Bill approached the eagle with a mix of trepidation and awe. He raised his hand gently towards the magnificent bird, not wanting to startle it. The eagle, seemingly recognizing the familiar figure, tilted its head and emitted a soft chirp. In that tender moment, a profound understanding seemed to pass between the two. It was as if they were communicating in a language that transcended words. Bill knew that the eagle had returned to repay the kindness shown to it all those years ago. Somehow, this bird had stuck around, watching its one-time helper. Or maybe it had simply come back after all this time to say hello when it stumbled onto the threat to Bill's grandson. Bill would never really know, but he was more than grateful. If not for this eagle, with an unbelievable memory and the need to repay kindness, Tim could have been hurt, or worse. As the village men and Bill watched in hushed anticipation, the eagle slowly lowered itself, still clutching Tim securely in its talons. 
With a gentle, almost reverent touch, Bill placed his hands on Tim's little legs, softly stroking him to reassure the boy. The poor kid was obviously scared out of his mind, but surprisingly was completely unharmed, save for a few leaves in his hair. The eagle, as if understanding the old man's intentions, gingerly released its grip on the child. Everyone held their breath as Tim was gently lowered to the ground, his feet once again touching the earth. He looked up with wide eyes, his fear giving way to amazement at the sight of the magnificent bird that had just saved him. Even at such a young age, there was no denying that something truly magical had just happened. Satisfied, the eagle flapped its huge wings once again and swiftly disappeared from sight. Bill knew that birds of prey are not very affectionate creatures and definitely didn't expect the eagle to let him pet it or to stay a while with him and Tim. Still, he wished he could do something more to thank it for protecting the most precious thing he had in this world. At the same time though, he guessed that they'd now come full circle. He had helped the eagle and the eagle had helped him in return. The boy and his grandfather would have a story for the ages to tell to everyone they met for years to come. But for the time being, Bill was just glad to have little Timmy in his arms again. What a shocking story. What did you think of it? What would you have done in Bill's place, seeing a massive eagle snatch your grandchild from the ground? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.